The mask floats between the magician's hands. The money changes into a mask. The magician breaks the mask strap and then restores it. The pen goes straight through the mask, but then the mask restores itself. I'm also going to teach you how to take a mask strap, cleanly cut it in half, and then impossibly restore it in front of your spectators. Hey, what's up everyone? Oscar Rowan here, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you seven amazing magic tricks with face masks. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have done this video a little bit earlier, given that we're coming to the latter stages of the pandemic. Nevertheless, face masks are still in use and people use them all the time, so I think you'll get a lot of value out of the tricks I'm about to teach you. Let's go to the card table. The magician takes a mask strap, breaks it in half, and then restores it together again. This is hypervisual and everything can be inspected. This is a really simple and ingenious magic trick. So get a mask and find the loop on it like this. Then what you need to do is using your middle fingers and thumbs, hold the string leaving about this much in the middle. Then what you want to do is take your first fingers and put them under the string like this and then pull outwards. Then take your, put your first fingers not next to each other like that, but put your left hand one slightly in front of your right hand one. So from behind, you're in this position here. So from the front point of view, it really looks as if you're holding the string, when in reality, there's a hidden loop up here that the spectators can't see. Now all you're going to do is move your thumbs and middle fingers away from each other, and it looks as if you're breaking the loop, and then put them back together, release everything, and it looks as if you've broken and restored the loop. The magician has a mask and fairly shows both sides to the spectator. The mask then floats between the magician's hands. This is very clean and visual. You can also do this effect with other objects such as a banknote, so it's definitely worth learning how to do this amazing magic trick. So this is a very simple magic trick that requires you to have something called invisible thread. I've left a link down in the description to where you can get it. Once you buy the thread, you can need to put it around your hand. Obviously because it's invisible, you basically can't see it, but it's a very thin bit of thread going around my hand like this. Then show the mask and then come in with your finger like this and pull the thread out so there's now a base that you can put the mask on, let go and you can see that it floats in between your hand and then simply catch the mask, release the thread so it's back around your wrist and that's how the trick works. So check out the link in the description, um, buy some of the thread, it's really cheap and you can do loads of amazing levitation effects like this one. Before I teach you the next trick, I just wanted to quickly mention that my book is being released in the USA at the end of this month and is also being released a little bit later elsewhere just because of COVID and shipping issues. And for those of you who don't know, this is a book that teaches over 50 amazing magic tricks with cards, coins, everyday objects and so much more. And I've handpicked these tricks to make sure that they're really powerful and visual and are guaranteed to amaze anyone that you show them to. So it took me well over a year to write the book and if you get it now at its pre-order price, it's really, really cheap to buy. I think it's only about $12 right now for the pre-order and it will arrive well before Christmas. So go and check it out at the first link in the description. Um, if you get it, it really does help support the channel and you'll also learn some amazing magic tricks as well. The playing card suddenly changes into a mask. You can learn this in 30 seconds. To do this trick, you need a mask and a playing card. Stick the playing card to the top left-hand corner of the mask. Then what you need to do is fold up the mask so that you can't see it behind the playing card. To do this, you fold the bottom of the mask up, then you take these two strands and pull them down so they're in the middle of the mask there, and then you fold everything to the side. Then there are lots of different tabs of the mask. All you do is you hold the frontmost tab like this with these two fingers, and then your middle finger goes behind holding the card here. The way in which this works is when you're holding the card this way and you drop the card down and release your middle finger, the whole mask expands and twists around, hiding the card behind it, which means from the front view, you can only see the mask. The magician cleanly shows both sides of the mask in his hand. He then holds the mask and pulls out a loop from the strap. 
He then takes the scissors and cuts the loop. This is clean and fair. The spectator confirms that it's really cut in half. He then pushes the broken straps back into his fist and then reveals that it's magically restored itself. To do this trick, you need two masks, a thumb tip and a pair of scissors. So to begin, you want to take one of the masks and cut off the band you can see here. I've taken off the band and simply place the band, it doesn't really matter how long it is, into the thumb tip like that. Then put your thumb over everything and you're now ready to begin. Begin by displaying the mask in your left hand and then come up with your right hand using your fingers to hide the thumb tip and just, and just grab the band like this. Then using your free hand, grab the string. And then what happens from behind is your the thumb tip goes down into your hand, you grab it and then remove your thumb. And this leaves this little band here sticking out which isn't actually connected to the mask. Then what you do is you squeeze your hand into a fist and you simply cut through the band like that. And then from the back you can see you push these two bits into the thumb tip. Now remove your hand still with the thumb tip on it, grab the mask and then show that everything has magically restored itself. The magician clearly displays a mask and a coin. He places the coin on the mask and then drops the coin into his hand. When he opens his hand, he now has two coins. The spectator asks to see it again, so the magician places both coins on the mask, drops them into his hand, and now he's got three coins. To do this trick, take two masks, one completely normal, and then cut out a section of a second mask and just stick it to the bottom of the mask like this. So it's stuck there, it's stuck up there, and it's stuck up there. What you want to do is take two of these coins and place them into the pouch. Leave the third coin in your open hand. You're now ready to begin. To begin the trick, place one of the coins onto the mask, then use your thumb to press down on one of the hidden coins. Then open up your other hand and just tip everything out. And this will mean two coins are now in your hand and the third coin has been held here. Reveal to your spectator that two coins are now in your hand. Then place both of these onto the mask again, release this thumb, and then again tip everything out into your hand. Now there'll be three coins in this hand and the mask looks completely normal. The magician has a pen and a mask. He shows both hands completely empty and then takes the pen. Suddenly he stabs the pen through the mask. The spectator confirms that the pen is going right through. The magician then slowly removes the pen and amazingly, there's no hole in the mask. This requires this crazy pen that you could basically stab through anything and then restore whatever it is that you've stabbed it through. The way in which it works is the pen nib is magnetic, so it can come off and on like that. Just to begin, show the pen and then show the mask. Then what you're going to do is put the pen under the mask to show this hand free. When you come and collect the pen again, you're going to break off the pen nib like that and use these fingers to cover where the pen, ca uh, pen nib should be. Then what happens is you go one, two, and you hit the pen onto the pen nib that's below it, and because it's magnetic, it will stick. This creates the very convincing illusion that you've just pushed the pen through the mask. Then what you can do is very slowly just slide off the pen, and then for the last bit, just pull it out. You can show that this is completely normal, and then if you want to hand the pen out for inspection, all you do is break off the pen nib here and then take off the cap and there's a secondary nib that doesn't come off and you can hand these two bits out for inspection. The money suddenly changes into a mask. This is hyper visual and takes 30 seconds to learn. Let me show you how. I really like this magic trick because it's very simple and very visual. All you need is a mask and some money. Take the money and stick it to one side of the mask like this and means the other side, there's nothing there. 
Then with the side with nothing on it, facing the spectator or the camera, put both arms through the string like this. Then what you're going to do is twist the mask around so you can only see the money. And whilst you do that, you also want to fold the mask up behind the money. Because the, uh, the string here is now twisted and you're holding the money like this, when you let go of the money and move your, ha move your hands outwards, the mask will flip around and it will look as if the money has visually changed into the mask.